Kayaka. Um, right now it's 9.56. Took the kids to school earlier. Uh, went to Foodland, got some some more groceries. Still trying to, um, I guess, stay in the plant-based, you know, natural foods. Um, right now, kind of working out. My hair's sleeping, but um, me and Palele is up. I was kind of reading to her a little bit in her Hawaiian, her Olelo Hawaii book. Yeah? Right now. Hello. Today it is Po'aha, which is Thursday, and it is March. Oh, hold up. It is Malaki Ekahi, which is March 1st. And if you notice, my hands are like pink or red looking. It's because I had. I'm making macarons. I'm making ladybug macarons, and this is what happens when you're a baker that deals with a lot of food coloring because everyone likes characters and stuff and yeah baker's problem anyway i'm editing another vlog while i am baking right now today is my last baking day for the week so i guess like a little update on my work situation or jobs situation i feel like i have like three jobs because macarons is like my number one that I've been doing for a while already. The one that I've been making like more money off of and that's how we got to go to Disney two years in a row. And then I just recently got hired at another job and I'm working part time there right now. My goal is to work there full time and slow back on the macarons because it is a little side business but it takes up a lot of my time. It takes a while to dry them and then bake them and then I gotta make the fillings and basically it's a whole day and you already know like the last baking day I think it was was on Tuesday I baked um, to sell yesterday which is Wednesday so yeah I baked on Tuesday I stayed up to like 3 a.m. like past 3 a.m. I didn't go to sleep till almost 4 o'clock in the morning so yeah like that's just how it is baking macarons it just takes a while especially if like you're baking at home and you have kids and like you're just whatever yeah so if i get a full time at my other job i'm gonna slow down on macarons but i don't know if i'm gonna make as much money as i do on macarons if that makes sense and then i also do youtube and like i said i made an actual like paycheck so i consider it a job now so i finally got my lashes done and i have some really good like video ideas that i want to do and i was waiting to get my lashes done for it because it's dealing with makeup so i want to do another my daughter does my makeup video but that's gonna be on my personal channel so check my other channel out if you're interested in videos that are more girly like makeup challenges so i'm gonna have every single one of my family members do my makeup so starting with polana because i made her do my makeup like when she was around paulella's age i think and that video is on that channel so yeah check that other channel out should be linked down below if I'm not mistaken but I always have it at the end of every vlog like I tag my little channel on it but yeah I'm gonna have her do my makeup then I'm gonna have Puloku I'm gonna have Paulella do my makeup as well like all separate videos and then I'm gonna have my husband do my makeup as well and then I'm also gonna do like I try a blank makeup tutorial that trend I've been waiting for my eyelash to to do that video basically today I I'm just in a talking mood because today I'm not really doing anything besides staying at home and baking tomorrow we're gonna be going out more and um, not, we're, me and Diana are gonna be doing errands in town tomorrow 
so that's probably gonna be like combined with this vlog if anything if not this vlog might just be me talking i don't know i don't know oh good news also i've lost another pound today so yesterday i don't know if i announced it but i lost a pound yesterday weighed myself this morning i lost another pound Cha ching bling bling ring ring okay i don't know what that was i'm down another pound like so i think darren was he's calculating everything he said i'm down seven pounds what did he do yeah i was like in the beginning of my fitness journey really discouraged at first because i wasn't losing anything and i was eating healthy i was consistently working out five times a week i was really pushing myself and i felt like i wasn't I wasn't losing any weight for like a good solid almost one month not losing anything if anything I was losing like one pound but it was like nothing to me because I was like gaining it back the next day or something this time around I kind of just been making sure like it just shows that you just have to be very consistent and it all will come out towards the end like if nothing you're not gonna lose a bunch of weight in the beginning and I obviously learned that from this journey but at in the beginning i was really discouraged because i was really eating healthy and i was working out five times a week so nowadays i don't work out as much i don't work out five times a week because i'm not able to i'm not able to we haven't gone walking like normally i walk every single day i haven't gone walking for three weeks straight so almost one month because it's been raining that long and nowadays i don't work out as much i try to do my five days a week but at the most, I've been doing four days a week lately. And it's just because sometimes it just gets too busy. I make myself and I force myself, like, if it's 10 at night, I'll still do it. And I'll work out till, like, one hour till, like, 11. So, and then I actually have been, like, a little bit more lenient on my my diet like i haven't been eating healthy healthy i've been eating actual like snacks and chocolates and i'm still losing weight so i think it's pretty good yesterday i wasn't having the best day and i was in such like a grumpy mood at the end of the day and i think obviously towards the ending of the day it's like when you're already getting like feeling exhausted like just tired from like the whole day you know and the night before like i said i didn't go to sleep till about four o'clock in the morning so i didn't get rest so i was pretty biatchy and Puloku was honestly like not listening to me he wasn't doing his hot avina he wasn't doing his homework and i was getting really frustrated i was like yelling at him and i was just sometimes like i just feel like i'm such a bad parent sometimes or i don't know i just feel like such a ugly person or a yucky person when i get really frustrated and angry and i lose my patience and i just get really i don't know i get hard on myself like in that moment it's like i'm releasing all this anger and frustration and i'm trying i like feel like a bad parent when i do that having three kids really made me become very impatient and much like more of a yelling type of parent as sad to say my whole life i've always been very patient i'm like not a angry person and i i feel like i still consider myself not an angry person but i do get angry nowadays and it's ever since i had three kids i thought having three kids at four years apart like would it be as stressful or bad but i was wrong after having like three kids they just were all fighting all the time they start to all fight they start to get on my nerves like that's when i started to lose patience like everyone used to praise me when i even had my two kids at first when i had like just polana and Puloku, i would have like all my friends and my family they would just say like you have so much patience for your kids and all that stuff that's just how i was that that's naturally how i was and some people like they get frustrated just off, off of having just one child but i had two kids and people were just like amazed that i had so much patience and i never yelled at my kids i never like spoke like that towards them i was very patient with them like i said yeah i feel like i'm seeing the word patience so much but after having three kids it really changed me as a parent it made me become my battery died like literally i've been talking so much in this bit video i don't know if i'm gonna add everything in but i just feel like i'm in a talking mood and sometimes i like talking videos 
so I think I want to like do a talking video on my other channel like more in depth and just sitting down and just talking about how being a parent has changed me what changes you as a parent and blah 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 anyway just to help like other moms out there that might feel the same way as me or what's it might be expected to come of you like changing as a person you know after having not like one kid or two kids like when you each kid is different and you're gonna react differently and you change like all the time i don't know it's just weird i don't know just having three kids i get so frustrated easily and i never used to feel like that i was frustrated with darren too i don't know if i'm gonna add all this in like i feel like i want to add real raw things and i see other vloggers that add in like little fights that they have between their spouse and i kind of want to do that because it just seems more real and i obviously am a real person but I don't know, I see like Elisha, she's not afraid to add in all her like little riffs she has with her boyfriend. I don't know, I kind of want to add that in like just because I want to just be a little bit more raw and more real and show like what it is being in a relationship and that you are going to fight. Like no one's perfect, like everyone fights, but I don't know. How do you feel about that? I was like frustrated with Darren and then I got frustrated with Loku and I was tired because I didn't go to sleep till 4 a.m. that 4 a.m. that day it was at the end of the day my energy was low i was getting impatient i was getting frustrated i was just praying to god after and i literally had to pray about it because i don't want to be the person that i've become i was never this type of person and i don't like yelling at my kids but i can't help it when i get frustrated and impatient Hawaii, Upa Amaho Beoka Aena.